are my three stitches that I cast on. Here's that little sh short tail from my cast on. Just leave that aside. Okay, knit two. One. And two. Slip two with yarn in front. The last color A stitch and next color D stitch. So bring the yarn forward to slip two with yarn in front. One and two. Row two, wrong side. Knit two together. And slip all 85 stitches onto that spare needle. And we'll work with those stitches later. But don't worry about the needle size as long as you... Do you love your Bronte? Oh. Onto a tapestry needle with waist yarn or a spare circular needle. So I, you can do them one at a time like this, but I just like to slide a bunch on my spare needle. Oh, he loves his Bronte. Oh, she's playing hard to get, Max. She's playing hard to get. <laughs> There's all 85 stitches. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It is, oh, no, Saturday the 7th. Oh, my word. I don't like brushing my hair. I've just brushed my hair. I've been outside to um, check on the washing. Oh. How are you today? Are you having a good Saturday? Whatever you're doing? Yeah. I'm having a lovely Saturday. A lovely Saturday. I think I've got a little bit of the dogs and a bit of knitting this morning and then this is going to be it. And I might keep this format for the weekend. Um, today I'm cutting myself some slack. <laughs> I've had um, some busy few days what with um, running around on Wednesday and Thursday, oh and Tuesday and Monday. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I've not had a down day. Um, I was not sleeping very well. I need to um, just chill a bit. And I feel lovely. I'm in my pyjamas. I did, yeah, I know I said I'm going to have a chill day, but you still do the things like tidy the kitchen round, don't you? Just tidy round and... Um, put the hoover over and put the wash on, that kind of thing. But there's been no call on my time today. So yeah, I've done a few things. This morning I sat and um, sat and did some knitting on my socks and I had that extra hour, which was really nice. I got up at 6.36. I did go back to bed and then I was tossing and turning. I thought, Do you know what? <laughs> I slept right the way through, so I'm just gonna get up. And I did. And I gained an extra hour's knitting time. Do you ever do anything like that? Yeah. Oh, it's way too hot. Way too hot. It's, uh, what is it? It's a herbal tea, but I think it's like, a, it's a puka tea, I think. I think it's called Love. Yeah, I'll have to put a photograph in maybe of uh, the ingredients. So what have I done? I'll show you my crochet and I've got a bit of a quandrum. A very kind viewer pointed it out but was apologising for pointing it out. Um, just making a very t tiny corner to corner blanket for like the baby, uh, the Moses basket. Made a tiny, teeny tiny one for Reuben for his baby, for his you know, new brother that's coming so he can have a baby. So, yeah, I thought I'll just use the leftovers. And I'm fine with somebody <laughs> pointing something out. And I have it, it's, and it's a stupid mistake. Where is it? I personally think if you find it difficult to find your mistake, then don't worry about it too much. Where is it? So that's how far I am. It's so pretty. 
And I think the mistake is, I don't know now. Well, to me, this looks dead straight. <laughs> That's dead straight. They did say it could be them. Oh, here it is. Yeah, look. That's my corner. That's my corner. And then I've missed one. But it goes, and then it goes. It's correct from there. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think it's glaringly obvious. I'm not taking it back. Um, I'm going to keep going because I am under pressure now, I feel. And this is the thing when you, well, I think if you craft and you gift, you want it. I certainly want it to be the best of, to, of my best ability. But at the end of the day, it's a blanket. And I don't think the baby's going to notice. real pain <laughs> so I don't know at the moment at this at this moment in time I am not going to be taking it back we will see so yes that's a little blanket that is being made um, and it's the week after next we're expecting him um, so I would like his mum's kept everything which is really nice but I would like to make him a little cardigan so I've dug out some wool and I want to make him a cardigan so as soon as this is finished then I can start on that and that won't take me long this was living in my beautiful London bag that's um, from one of my friends and she just made it and sent it as a surprise. Um, that's right up my street, right up my street. So this is my little basket where I've got everything housed. Oh, and I finally found it. Finally, finally found my glasses. So if you lose something, check your head, check your hands and I don't know, triple check your projects it wasn't in my project bag it was in the bottom of the basket which is a bit silly right let's see what I have I'm looking for a label now in here it was there earlier oh. I'm still taking it out And it's underneath <laughs> underneath and these are my strictly socks so i have been working on my strictly socks when i'm not watching strictly so this is a beautiful yarn from um green lampkin yarn by suzanne and it's called ballroom bliss so the daughter and i are both um making making these and i'm using the pattern that i test knitted for shannon at blue fern yarn called the fur fur cone socks and it's lovely absolutely beautiful really really nice pattern yet um shannon not only um dyes yarn but she you know beautiful yarn but she um designs beautiful patterns as well so this is um suzanne's yarn and it's got a bit of a sparkle in it. I don't know whether it's too light to show up because I've got the lights on. But look at that. So I am down. Ooh. So I am down to a second fur comb. Um, my daughter was asking me, she has made a couple of Oh, three or three, four pairs of vanilla socks. But she, we were going to, talking, we were going to make these together. I said, well, why don't you have a pattern now? And um, I recommended a couple of patterns from Green Lumpkin Yarn. That looks like that's twisted. No, it's me. And this is how it's coming on. Can you see the pattern? I've got, it twi I've got it twisted. Yeah, look. There's a hint. Might be better when it's not 
on the sock blocker. Well, it's not showing up very well. So you have three going down the leg, but it's absolutely beautiful. Look at it, absolutely beautiful. So I'm thoroughly enjoying working on those. Can you see the sparkle in the yarn? No, <laughs> perhaps you might be better. We can see the, um, the fir cones now, pine cones. But, so I'm up to there. Once I've done the third one, then I think I'm onto the sock. Onto the sock, more like. Onto um, the heel. It's heel flap and gusset, which I like. Dead easy, dead easy. These over here. Let's put this over here. And then that extra hour that I gained this morning, I um, thought, right, I'm going. Oh, I'm going to give the oh, what was it called? The shadow wrap heel a go. I'd watched Alex's um, tutorial from My Yarny Corner. She put one up, and then I watched Earth Turns Girl. Um, they were both very, very good. So I went with Alex and I'm just making a pair of plain vanilla socks. Um, I thought it was an excellent opportunity just to put that um, heel in. So that's my yarn. And this is what it looks like caked up. I think I've already shown you, just in case there's anybody new and it's got a shocking pink contrast. You're able to buy 100 grams and then he has a pile of 20 gram uh, minis and you could just pick those up. So, did the um, cuff, did the cuff, I did 10 rounds of um, two by two rib. Um, because it's been a while, I think, since I've used a mini, I thought, right, I'll cast the second cuff on, da -da! <laughs> um, and then I did the shadow wrap heel. Look at that! Isn't the arm beautiful? Really beautiful. So that's the shadow wrap heel, and it is so easy. And I'm very pleased to say, oh women, how do I show you this? It's very neat. I, think I have knitted this once before and I liked it and I think also did German short row heel. Not, I wasn't a great lover of that, but I really like that. So I've done 10 rounds. Yeah, not sure if you can see. Yeah, 10 rounds, 10 rounds. And I'm not sure how deep that's going to be. I normally do four, I'm a size five and a half. So I normally put five, four, no, no, no. Put 40 rows on my vanilla sock but I'm just wondering if I would need 45 just for that extra depth. So yes yeah, so I was watching that so I've watched a bit of um, Stephen West his new um, Clue One video for the gradient shawl and that's my next job. So this afternoon I want to um, going to make a curry, chicken curry look into I love stocking up my freezer it's something we've we have always done um you know to you know if you're going to cook I don't know cook a lasagna make two and then freeze one and then you've got an easy meal for in the week you know when I was working when the children were younger it was like <laughs> the saving grace for me and we'd once a month do like batch bake me and Mr Jack's and um you know we put things in the freezer and um, be able to pull those out so I bought this magazine, it's called The Ultimate Slow Cooker Cookbook. Um, it's from the makers of Woman and, Woman and Home and it's issue issue 14. So these are all like slow, obviously slow cook recipes, the cues in the, uh, clues in the name. So I'm going to do a super easy chicken curry. Um, and I might do the 
and I've got everything. I can make my own paste, it's tikka masala. So I've got garlic, ginger, coriander, chili, cumin, tomato, paste and oil. So I might do the potato and spinach just by the side and maybe some mushrooms. Yeah. And then I was looking through this and this caught my eye, a pineapple upside down cake. Oh. I used to make this a couple of times during the winter when the children were younger. We always used to have like roast dinner and then like a steamed pudding. None of my, neither of my girls likes um, fruit, but they would have this um, and everything was sort of had to be, I don't know, yeah, um, quite a retro dessert. So I'd, I'm not quite sure what we've what we're having tomorrow. I think it's a masaka. I think I've requested a masaka. We've got some lamb mince. So I'm going to do that. Yes. So I'm going to work on um, the geo gradient shawl. What I've watched so far, really, really interesting um, construction. So I'll come back on tomorrow and I'll show you that. So my lovelies, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to enjoy wearing my pajamas. Yes, you can't see, can you? No. I've uh, made myself a chicken salad and I dropped a tomato. It was the pips right down the t-shirt. So I put my crumbs, put my top on, you can't see, can you? But now I've told you, you know? I hope you're having a lovely Saturday. I don't know, three o'clock. I don't know how long Mr. Jackson's been gone, but hopefully he'll be back soon. It's nice to have some time. I don't think that I don't want him here, I do. Um, it's nice just to potter about, just nice to potter about. And um, yeah, I think it's important to give yourself some downtime and cut yourself some slack. Oh, the sun's out, all the motorbikes are out. Right, I'm gonna go, so I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy your weekend.